channel so in the previous session we have seen the tree traversals and how to construct a tree with the help of these traversals techniques in this session we'll go with a one more topic that is a binary search tree right this is uh, called as a BST binary search tree right so here it is also a tree it's also a tree and it should follow the condition of a binary tree so we know the difference between a tree and a binary tree so a tree can consists of in the tree uh, a normal tree any node any node can have a number of children but whereas in a binary tree every node should have a, an at most two children so that constraint should be followed by BST. So here also every node should have at most two children. That means it is a variant of a binary tree. It is a variant of a so we can call it as a type. Okay. So every node. must have at most so this is very important 0 1 or 2 at most mean at most two children right so that's why we call it is a variant of a binary tree that's the one thing second one is <coughs> this is almost similar to our binary search so just uh, recall the binary binary search so let us take an elements see so one only one condition while implementing this binary search means so before going to the binary search the elements should be in a sorted order so if they are not in sorted order first we have to uh, sort them and then we have to apply the binary search so if let us take these elements and what's the first step we are going to see in the binary search so so this is a binary search okay right so first we will find the middle element we will find the middle element so that all the elements which are left to that are less than middle element all the elements which are on the right side those are greater than middle element right again recursively we will find the same middle element in the left left uh, part and the right, uh, same middle element in the right part and based upon the middle element we will just uh, reduce the problem space so like this we will apply this binary search the same thing we will apply in the binary search tree also so here in this binary search tree this middle element will be considered as a root root node right this middle element will be considered as a root node and this will be considered as a left subtree and this will be considered as a right subtree right so again recursively in this left subtree we will find the minimum middle element that will be considered as a root and the left side is a left subtree right side is a right subtree similarly in this right right path we will again find the middle element we will consider that element as a root and the left left path will be the left subtree and the right part will be the right subtree and recursively we will call that right so the same thing will apply for the tree construction so that's why we can say by using this binary search plus binary tree, we can form the BST, right? See, so binary tree plus binary search is nothing but our BST, binary search, tree. right? So see, that means all the elements 
elements all the elements of left subtree are less than root all the elements of a red left subtree must be less than must be less than a root node similarly all the elements of right subtree must be greater than root all the elements of right subtree must be greater than root all the elements of left subtree must be greater than root right see if you consider some 50 let it be a 50 is a root node so the left subtree should contain the less than 50 and the right subtree should contain greater than 50 see Forty, sixty, right? So this is a BST because a node fifty is having less than on right left side, greater than on right side. Next, if you form this subtree again, if you want to add a children to this forty, again we have to follow the same thing. So for the forty the left subtree of this 40 should be less than 40 and the right subtree of this 40 should be greater than 40 but not less than i mean but not greater than 50 see here if you observe this is a root node now this is a root node so here we can apply 30 because 30 is a less than 40 and here that should be greater than 40 right greater than 40 so if you place a 70 that is completely wrong because all the elements of left subtree so this is all the subtree right this is all the subtree all the elements of left subtree must be less than root here root is 50 right here root is 50 so 40 is less than 50 correct so 40 is a root 30 is less than 40 right 70 70 is greater than 40 the condition is true but the 70 is greater than 50 which is a root of this subtree so we can't insert this 70 here right the condition is here we can insert the element which is greater than the 40 but less than 50 so we can insert a 45 here so hope you understood this is completely a left subtree so we know that all the elements of the left subtree must be less than root so we can't insert an element which is greater than the root element next here also we can write so here we can write a 20 and here we if you write some 42 that is completely wrong because 40 is the root here so all the elements of a subtree so this is a subtree of 40 this is a subtree of 40 so all the elements of subtree must be less than root so all the elements of this subtree should be less than 40 so th on the right side of this 30 it should be greater element but less than this root so 40 will be not accepted here so here we can insert a 35 we can insert a 35 here also same thing so 60 So if you if you insert a 20 so the 20 is less than 60 condition is true but 20 is less than 50 also but so this is the subtree of right subtree of node 50 so all the elements of this subtree should be greater than 50 and if you write if 60 here you have to insert 55 we can insert a 55 which is a greater than 50 and less than 60 
and here you can go with the seven digit right so hope you understood this with uh, this thing so every element of a left subtree must be less than the root so every iteration or every subtree we have to follow these two things so all the elements of left subtree must be less than root all the elements of right subtree must be greater than root right so this is how we will follow while constructing the binary search tree right so hope you understood without any uh, problem right next so what are the operations that we can apply on this bst so operations so we know that first one is insertion inserting an element into the into the binary by a bst so how to insert an element so just by comparing the root element we can insert an element into the bst because we know that all the elements are in a sorted order that means uh, based upon the root node we can uh, find the position of the element while inserting an element so if the node is i mean if the element is greater than the root then automatically the position of that particular element will be on the right side left uh, right subtree if the if the new element is less than the root root node then the position of that particular new element will be on the left subtree and coming to the left subtree again repeat the follow uh, repeat the same process so by that way we can insert an element into the binary search tree next deletion so how to delete an element from the binary search tree so here we will go with the three concepts so deleting an element or deleting a node with zero children one children and two children right so we can uh, how to delete an element uh, with zero children that means a leaf node so there will be no problem uh, while deleting a leaf nodes right so how to delete an element with one children one child and the two child right because our bst is a variant of binary tree so every node may have at most zero to i mean at most two children so this is a deletion process so we'll go one by one right third searching process so searching the element in the bst so uh, we'll get uh, we'll find whether the element is available in this bst or not so just simply comparing the root nodes so every every process will be related to the root node similarly minimum value so how to find the minimum element from the bst by the search tree maximum node so finding the maximum element from the bst right so these are the operations we are going to see in the further sessions regarding this binary search tree right so we'll stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this introduction of by bst uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions uh, like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and and don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep following thank you very much thank you